what we do here is try to recirculate our own water within the area, uh, within the hot zone or exclusion zone, uh, to avoid using city water constantly and then just discharging it to the water treatment system here. As you've seen, safely removing asbestos involves the extensive use of water. Water is used to wet down an area to minimize the movement of fibers into the breathing zone or out of the building. For smaller jobs, the management of water is minimal. Excess water can be mopped up with the debris and bagged for disposal. Larger jobs, however, often result in the daily use of thousands of gallons of water. This much contaminated water needs to be collected and treated for reuse. We uh, collect water uh, from various points within the site, bring it to this big blue tank right here, and from there we pump it into a batch tank. It's about 1,500 gallon tank. In that tank, uh, we call it a batch treatment tank. And from there, we pump it through two sand filters, just typical pool sand filters. And then after that, we pump it through three bag filters, which have a nylon mesh. Uh, one micron is the lowest, 15 microns is the highest. And finally, we have a carbon, uh, carbon absorption unit, which will remove any VOC, volatile organic compounds. We discharge it into an effluent storage tank which is about a 5,000 gallon tank. And this water is distributed to several places within the site to use for quote unquote clean water. This clean water, as it's being referred to, is really the treated water and is suitable only for wetting or cleaning additional asbestos contaminated areas of the site. Over the course of a six month operation, this water may be recycled as many as 50 times.